Currently, I have three ant colonies. Two of them, colony one and two, are chill. The ants in these colonies just walk around a bit, minding their own business. They are both hibernating right now. That means they're not a lot of work. Colony three, however, is different. These ants are crazy. They are always active. They always need food. They just never stop. But this video is not about them. It's about the two hibernating colonies. And I'm about to disrupt their sleep. Yeah, they're going to hate this. Oh, and colony 2 here is about to make the big move. Am I ever going to stop with these ridiculous titles? This colony is going to move out of this tube. Where to, you ask? Well, you will have to keep watching, don't you? Come on, you got nothing better to do than to listen to my nonsense. You know it, I know it, we both know it. So sit back and relax. Let's start by waking up the Messer Barbarus colony. And I know it looks like they're in a dirty basement, but that is because they are in a dirty basement. It has the perfect temperature for their hibernation, but it has been going up fast lately. It almost looks unnatural. Uh, yeah, never mind. Ow. I walked into the door. Now it's time to move them to a spot that is not a dirty basement. I'm trying to be careful so they're not woken up yet. I don't think they noticed. Damn it. They will settle down fast now they're in the light again. This room has a temperature that is in between the basement and the room they're eventually going to be in. For the Americans, that's 22 and a half degrees Celsius worth of Fahrenheit. We're going to take a look inside the nest in a minute. And I promise you, you will be surprised at what you see. Ants. You will uh, see ants. Spoiler alert. Let's check on the other colony. These are definitely not awake yet. Besides a few lonely ants, there's not a lot of movement yet. But I did notice two things with this colony. First, I took a look at their graveyard. Yes, ants have graveyards. And it seems they didn't lose a lot of ants during this winter. That's a good thing. Not that good is that the water in their tube is almost gone and it's growing algae. That is why they need the big move. Yeah, they need to move out. Before they can move out, they need to wake up. That is why I'm putting them in a warmer spot so they can wake up slowly. You know how the smell of pancakes or waffles can wake humans up? Maybe the smell of a nice, dead, frozen, cut in half cricket can wake ants up. Looks yummy. This is a Lassius niger colony by the way. The queens of this species have the longest recorded lifespan of any insects at 29 years. So this colony could potentially outlive me. Let's be real, it will definitely outlive me for three reasons. First, I'm male. Second, I'm really, really dumb. And third, I like to pick up dangerous animals whenever I see them. Fourth, I can't count, I am uncoordinated and I have very shaky hands. Anyway, in the meanwhile, some of the ants have found the cricket. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's better. I waited a few days to move colony 1 into their final spot. I do it this way to acclimate them to higher temperatures again. At least it mimics their natural conditions a little bit. Now I need your help answering one question. How the hell did the ants shit right there? I mean, there's only one way. They dug, then shit. Um, shat all over the wall and then dug it back in. If that is the case, these ants are real a-holes because I'm the one that has to clean it. This is a dead ant. Last time I put one in colony 3 to see how they would react. Let's just say they didn't like it. Colony 3 is a different species by the way. But that colony has grown a lot since the last time. So I'm going to try it again to see how they react this time. My guess is... They won't like it. At first, they seemed more curious than pissed, with a lot of ants just examining the body with their antennae. But I think soon they noticed that this wasn't a nest mate. They started dragging it into the nest, which is weird. Last time, they just threw the body on their pile of trash. But anyway, I'm going to cover this colony back up, because I don't want to expose them to light for too long. In the meanwhile, I was getting really tired of cleaning. So I'm going to try this and clean. Wait, what? 
trying again and clean <sighs> why does this work for other youtubers but not me guess i'll have to clean for real and clean at least the terrarium is clean that is the most important part i guess and yes that was indeed some very crappy filming you saw there give it a score in the comments now it's finally almost time for the big move for colony 2 it is about time because i'm running out of animated titles i think i've almost used them all anyway let's go take a look in the nest of colony 1 after i feed them yeah yeah i know i suck for stalling but I totally don't do this so you guys watch longer, so YouTube thinks my video is great and it gets recommended more and viewed more. Yeah, that's not what I'm doing. Anyway, these ants had trouble getting in the tube, so I had to build them a little ramp of sand. R wrong way, buddy. And they still have trouble finding the hole. Yeah, we've all been there, am I right? A few hours later, this is what I came back to. The seeds are gone and the ants are out. These are all fully grown adult ants by the way. And the majors, like Bob, are almost as big as the queen. There she is. She was hiding under that rock. Let's follow her into the nest to see what she's up to. This is the first time I open it since they came out of hibernation. I try to do this as little as possible because it stresses out the ants. This is where they stash the seeds I gave them earlier. They have been exposed for 2 or 3 minutes, so it's time to cover them back up. Now for colony 2, of course, if I want them to move, I need to give them a place to move to. Epic montage incoming. Yeah, it's just a regular montage, I guess. It's not that great. I'm uh, adding some new Bodengrund. And lastly, I'm giving them a fresh tube. Why? Because ants like tubes, that's why. But of course, I'm still hoping that they will move into this back wall here. And to increase that chance, I'm adding some water. This will make it easier for them to dig the tunnels. If we take a look at the back, you can see the water seeping through. Before hibernation, they started digging the tunnels. But of course, they had to stop for winter. Let's see how the colony is doing. The most important thing is that the queen is alive. And yes, I know this footage sucks, but you try filming ants through two layers of glass with a phone and uncoordinated shaky hands. Guess I shouldn't be worried about the queen. She will outlive me, remember? All these white things are larvae. That means this colony is going to explode in numbers soon. And that is also why they need the big move. That was the last time, I promise. Did I mention I was really, really dumb already? Oh yeah, yes I did. I put the tube in the wrong way. I hope that is not what she said. The ants were becoming very active, but I couldn't keep watching, so I set up a time lapse. It looked like they were more interested in the hole in the back wall than in the tube. That's a good thing, because I'm hoping they move in there. I set up another time lapse. Man, I love time lapses. You can just set them up and go do other stuff. Perfect for lazy people. The queen wasn't ready to come out yet, but uh, the workers kept working. Because a day later, the tunnels have become longer. And no, I'm not imagining stuff. I'm very observant. And I compared footages. Yep. They also started digging in the arena here. I don't mind, I'm just curious where they eventually will move into. As long as they get out of the old tube, it's fine by me. Another day later. Yes, the tunnels have become longer again. Trust me, I compared footages again. I didn't see the queen anymore, but I'm pretty sure she's still in there. The workers have blocked off the entrance to the new tube. So to be absolutely sure, I'm going to take a look inside. Nope, not in there. The ants have been working very hard for a few days now, so I thought, time for a lunch break. I don't know what that one right there is doing, but it's not working. Yet another day later. 
you know the drill, tunnels have increased, I have compared footages, but something is different, the larvae are almost all gone, the queen is still here though, I wonder where they moved them, let's take a look in here again, there they are, I know it looks like they are moving into the new tube, but the workers kept digging tunnels, so I had a feeling that that tube wasn't their permanent home, I'm sorry, that sucked. Yes, their tunnels have increased. Why don't you just trust me? Pause and see for yourself. I thought this was just going to be the same old day until I saw this. They are moving the larvae into the tunnels. Let's hope the queen and the rest follow soon. Next day. Yes, this is the last time. If you don't see now that the tunnels have increased, you need glasses or I need a better camera. The queen is still in the tube, so I guess we can call this the small move. Yeah, the big one will be for next video. Stop, don't click off, click on this video instead. Thank you to all members, patrons and everyone that watched. And welcome to the new patrons. I think you'll like this video next. Bye.